Hello parents, today we are talking about toxic parenting behaviors we must avoid if we want a healthy relationship with our kids. I am Dr. Tanisha Burke, your positive parenting coach. Welcome to our channel where we discuss the latest research and best practices in parenting, child development and supporting the family. Parenting is a beautiful journey filled with love, joy and growth. As parents, we strive to provide our children with a nurturing environment that promotes their well-being and development. However, there are certain behaviors that can unknowingly poison the parent-child relationship, hindering its growth and creating long-lasting negative effects. In this video, we'll explore some of those toxic parenting behaviors that we should avoid at all costs and the importance of cultivating a healthy and loving connection with our children. The first toxic behavior we definitely need to not have in the relationship with our children is over-criticizing. Constant criticism can crush a child's self-esteem and confidence. Instead of focusing solely on their flaws, let's embrace their strengths and encourage their efforts. Offering constructive feedback and using positive reinforcement will build their self-confidence and promote a healthier parent-child relationship. The second toxic behavior we need to avoid is ignoring feelings. Invalidating or dismissing our children's emotions sends the message that their feelings don't matter. By actively listening and acknowledging their emotions, we create a safe space for them to express themselves and foster emotional intelligence. Empathy and understanding are essential ingredients in a strong parent-child relationship. The third toxic behavior we need to avoid is imposing perfection. Putting undue pressure on our children to meet unrealistic standards can lead to anxiety, self-doubt and fear of failure. Instead, let's celebrate their individuality and focus on their personal growth and progress. Encouraging effort, resilience, and self-acceptance will enable them to thrive in a nurturing environment. The fourth toxic behavior we as parents need to get rid of is lack of boundaries. Clear boundaries provide structure and security for children. Without them, children, especially young ones, can feel overwhelmed and uncertain. Establishing age-appropriate rules and explaining the reasons behind them helps children understand expectations and promote a harmonious parent-child relationship that is built on trust and respect. The next toxic behavior, which is very contentious, with a lot of parents is the use of punitive discipline. Relying on punishments, physical discipline and emotional manipulation instead of teaching and guiding your child can lead to fear, rebellion and resentment. And I know this is contentious because some parents will say that a little slap here and there works with their children but this is a big no-no and this is actually a very, very toxic parenting practice. What you need to do is opt for positive discipline techniques that focus on teaching, setting boundaries and encouraging growth. And if you're a parent who is struggling in this area, you can definitely reach out to me and access some of my positive discipline courses that will help you to move away from punitive discipline practices to positive discipline practices that, as I said earlier, helps you to establish boundaries and encourage growth. The final toxic behavior we'll mention today is comparing siblings. Comparisons between siblings can fuel unhealthy competition and resentment. Each child is unique and has their own strengths and abilities. Instead of pitting them against each other, let's celebrate their individual talents and abilities and foster a sense of cooperation and support within the family. Encouraging teamwork strengthens sibling bonds and creates a positive family dynamics. Creating a healthy and loving parent-child relationship is a journey that requires self-reflection and constant growth. 
By being mindful of our behaviors and avoiding toxic patterns, we can provide our children with nurturing environments they need to flourish. So parents, please remember, positive changes start with small steps. Let's prioritize empathy, respect, and open communication as we continue on our journey to becoming the best parents we can be. Together, we can build strong foundations of love, trust, and understanding that will positively impact our children's lives for years to come. Let's embrace positive parenting and create a brighter and happier future for our families. Remember parents, you are not alone on this journey. Seek support, educate yourself, and surround yourself with a community of like-minded parents who are committed to fostering healthy parent-child relationships. Let's embark on this transformative parenting journey one step at a time and watch our relationship with our children blossom into something truly beautiful. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more positive parenting content and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any future episodes. As always, thank you for being part of our positive parenting community. Goodbye for now.